Hey guys, so today I am getting my kitchen renovated as well as my master bath. I am getting this old backsplash ripped out and replacing it with subway tile and then I'm getting recycled glass countertops. So I'm super, super excited. They should literally be here like any minute, so I need to prepare with the dogs. So yeah, I'm gonna get going on that, try to fix this, whatever this is, and I will see you guys later. So here is before. They're also doing this little bar area back here and I'll be getting like a new sink, new hardware and everything as well. So this is the before on this here in the bathroom. I'm also getting the sinks changed to be like a rectangle and I'm also getting more new hardware. So the backsplash is out now. Yay! So they said it looked like a DIY job. <laughs> so basically me if I were gonna do this. Oh yeah. No more sink. Woo! My new sink is gonna be so much bigger. The master bathroom so far there's the countertop i'm so excited so right now i am finishing up this bathroom i pretty much have all this painted and then i am just working on this now and then i'm gonna do the rest of this and then this closet and then i will be done then all we have to do is some trim and my life painting will be over so just taking off the tape and yay, it's taking off the paint on the mirror. So gonna have to repaint that. Okay, so the first of the clothes is finally going in our closet. This is all we have right now. I think at some point I just want to have this be like a regular bar and then I wanna put a second one down here for pants, but but right now stuff just has to go up because I have like three of these, mostly David's clothes, but they just can't be in containers anymore. Okay, so it's been a while since I've sort of updated slash vlog like the house stuff my mom had visited me and so i took a little break from making videos but i'm gonna finally get to showing you everything i've done with the house so far it's obviously definitely not like 100 percent where i'd want it to be i'm hoping to have my house to be 100 percent settled with a lot more of the stuff i want done to it and a lot more of the details taken care of by may because that's when i have friends coming out to visit me and i want it actually presentable for when they come so at that point is when i should have like the trim taken care of and like the lights replaced and just all these little minor details done so that gives me a couple months so there definitely will hopefully be more of these videos please make sure to give this video a like if you like me doing these sort of house updates because I only want to keep doing them if you guys are liking them. So I'm not gonna talk too long. Let's get on with the updates and I will show you guys my kitchen first because I know that's probably what everyone wants to see. So let's go. So kitchen reveal, here it is. Before the sun goes behind the clouds again, I wanna show you, I put these up and I cut these out of that film that I have in my bathroom. And I told you guys that it makes like rainbows in direct light, but it's not the time of year that sunlight comes directly through that window. So here is what that looks like. It just kind of like shines rainbows all over everything. They're really bright when it's like really, really sunny outside. That's like a better show of it, sort of how it works, but I thought it was so cute. Okay, so now I can show you guys. Here is what my kitchen looks like now. So much better. Here's what it looked like before to remind you guys. So here are the countertops. These are made of recycled glass. Close up for you guys so you guys can like sort of see what they're all about. 
Here is my sink. It is so big now and it's so much nicer. It was so gross before. I had the garbage disposal and everything switched out as well. So now it's nice and clean down there. No more like gross people's food from whoever lived here before. But this sink is so big. It's been so nice. I put up my KitchenAid. Here's what this counter looks like. It makes the kitchen feel a lot bigger than it is. Obviously, I know it's still a small kitchen. However, I just feel like the countertop seems so much bigger now. They did add a little bit of length off the top. So there is a tiny, like, I mean, just a small amount of length that was added and I got the square edge. I didn't want the rounded. And then here is the backsplash. Just went with the white subway tile and I did go with just the white grout as well. I am so sad. These were the flowers that Huda sent me for my birthday and they got smushed while we moved, but I'm keeping them in here anyway because I know they were expensive and I really love them and I'm just pretending they're not smushed. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do a couple more like little before and afters. I've been pretty much just using right here to cook and stuff just as like my main area and then here I don't know more space and then over here it's another good bit of space and I finished painting the walls gray finally I haven't done the trim touch up here yet but you know painting it's it's hard <laughs> I will link this stuff below again because I know a lot of people are probably gonna want it because it's so cool. I keep zooming in so I don't show like what's outside my kitchen window and also don't expose my neighbors. So next I got these bar stools. I went with gray because I decided I'm just doing literally everything gray. And I really, really like these. I got them on Amazon. I'll link all that stuff below. They weren't that expensive. And yeah, I feel like a real adult with some bar stools there. Also, the bar got redone with the same recycled glass. I'm not sure what's going on with this exactly. Don't judge. Uh, yeah, don't judge. David did put up my YouTube plaque right here. I know a lot of people probably were like, why don't you put it in your vanity room? But I don't know, I just like, I'm really proud of this. So I put it, you know, in like the main living area. I know someone's gonna be like, aren't you on a diet? I see Girl Scout cookies. Those are David's, okay? Thank you very much. So next here is my living room. It has couches. Can you guys believe it? I know it's still really, really plain and I know, okay, the trim. I haven't gotten there yet, okay? Here are my couches. So this living room is shaped a little weird, so this wasn't my first option. I'm gonna insert the clips or a clip from when I went couch shopping. I got these one day before my mom came and visited me. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have couches because I'm not a good adult like that. comfortable and the seats are pretty like deep set so I really like them. I got the pillows at Target. They still look really nice to be honest because I cover them up with a towel and or a blanket whenever they're not really being like used slash when people aren't here because it's been raining so much and I don't want any mud to get on them from my dogs. So yeah, I took it off, especially for you guys. That's couch number one. Here is couch number two. This is like a one and a half seat, so it's really nice. I wanted a sectional, but in my uh, living room just wouldn't fit it. You wouldn't be able to like walk through right here. So I got that one instead. Here is finally, I got a new TV because this one got messed up when we moved. When you turn it on, it basically looks like it's been kicked. So there was no hope for it. So no, I don't have just like two TVs just chilling here. We want to put the TV up here, but there are no studs behind the fireplace. So I think I'm gonna do like a floating shelf, but attach it to like there 
and there and then put it up there because I don't really want to put it up here. You can barely see it comfortably like sitting at the edge right here. So if anyone's sitting there or over there, you can't really see very well. And this couch does not fit right there. So that's not really an option. I got this rug by a miracle. It is still okay looking. I think because it's uh, off-white slash gray sort of thing. You probably can't tell if there's a little bit of dirt on it from the dogs. And then one of my favorite parts is this ottoman. Look how pretty this is. It has like a little open section right here and then it is acrylic on the sides. Oh, wow. You can see all the dog nose there. Okay, you know what? I, I'll clean that. Right now I just have like my cookbooks under there because I don't... I know it's probably for blankets and stuff, but I'm just putting those there for now. It is laid out a little bit weird right now. I know it doesn't look like right with the ottoman there. It probably could be like right here and switch it up. I'm not sure yet because I'm not 100% sure what we're doing with the TV. And then this wall is looking really plain, so I don't know if I want to put something there or just like a painting or you know what, just leave it plain. I don't know. So that is my kitchen slash living room. Let me show you guys my bedroom update and then also my master bath update. Okay, so there's really not that much of an update in the master bedroom and Appa clearly does not care that I'm trying to show you guys the bed set. So I got this bed set and it was supposed to be like a tuft sort of velvet looking one and it kinda is. Let me show you guys the picture. I mean, it looks okay, but it's not exactly what I was expecting. It did come with like pillows and on the underside of it, it is really warm and comfortable because it has this on it. So it's really soft, don't get me wrong. And it was like a whole set. So the white sheets and pillow covers came with it, which for some reason in my head, I was thinking they'd all be gray. So I need to switch those out because a menace. I need to have David put up the curtain rod still. We just have it on like tax. <laughs> uh, still no side tables. Really, it's just pretty plain in here. There's still not much going on. Zoe's bed over here takes up quite a bit of room. So here's the master bath now. It looks kind of dark, but then if I put the light on, it looks kind of warm. I don't know. I'll kind of show you guys both. So one light, other light. I kind of prefer it like this. Here's the film I'm talking about. Whenever the sun is on this side, I don't know what season that'll be. It'll all shine through a rainbow. It'll be so pretty, I can't wait. But I'm so happy with how this turned out as well. I got new sinks too and they are undermounted. So you can always just like sweep things off into it and there's no lip right here, which I really, really like. We also did finish painting it gray. And then our closet. So here is <laughs> how it all turned out. I'm trying to do a whole like rainbowy thing. So like red, orange, tan, green, blue, black, gray, white. And then I had David hang up this bottom one for pants. It does touch the ground a little bit. I might figure something else out in the future, but for now, this is how it's going to be. And here is where our undergarments and stuff go. I got this from Target. I didn't really want a dresser or anything like that. I don't like how they look in bedrooms most of the time. I feel like they take up a lot of space, especially I've never really used dressers for that. I kind of find myself just like shoving random stuff in there and it ends up like junk drawers and I don't like junk drawers and like furniture drawers. I don't know. So I decided to get this, but yeah, super easy. Everything fits perfect in here. It takes up a good amount of room. I have a little bit of space here for like when I'm folding hamper, still a good amount of room in here too. All of the shoes and it's painted. Thank God. Oh, let me show you guys my absolute favorite drawer in here. Here is my lush drawer. I've recently and weirdly become obsessed with baths. Aside from that, there isn't too many other updates. This is the guest bedroom. I need to take the sheets off of this from when my mom was here, but bed basically. It is on the ground right now, but at least there's a room for guests. I'm gonna do it up more for when the next people come to be in there, you know? I did what I could, but there's a bed in here now. But we did the trim and everything in here at least, so progress. We're hiding a lot of uh, disaster stuff in here. Okay, bye. 
And then I feel like I'm letting everyone down because the room that's probably least done is my vanity room because I just, it's been overwhelming. The space is so big. I can't decide what to do with it. I have too much stuff and I just kind of feel like I keep ignoring it. I'm gonna try to get to it soon and start actually putting some furniture in there but i just can't decide what i want to do i kind of want to put a couch i kind of want to have like a little photo shoot area because i'm really liking taking pictures right now well i need a table for my nails i need a table for filming little makeup videos i need makeup storage i just it's a lot and i don't know i don't know where to put everything and yeah so i'm gonna show it to you guys really quickly here is this right now uh it's pretty much just accumulating all the new stuff that i keep getting and putting right here and then i'm doing my nails literally on this thing so if you see a nail video on instagram that's where i'm doing it on this little container here so let's get out of here my great little puppy i also put little bits of the rainbow on my back door just because i like it when the rainbows are everywhere i feel like it makes my house feel really happy it's cloudy outside so i'm not getting any direct sunlight right now okay now that is all i have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to i think get a new camera a littler one to vlog with because right now i'm on my 70d and it's so heavy i like can't even hold it up and I do all of my filming with this or my phone and I want something nicer but small. So I'm going to work on doing that. That way I can maybe like regularly vlog because I always am like, ooh, I could should vlog this. But then like where am I going to put it in like a normal video? I don't think so. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.